To be the best hockey player you can be, get your skates properly profiled. Don't be fooled by outdated techniques. Beginning in the 1950s, skate runners were rockered or contoured, putting a radius arc on the bottom of the runner. While making both the same was an improvement, this is like trying to play standing in a rocking chair. Modern scientific research in Helsinki, Finland led to a change in the 1990s. Now the runner is shaped to have a small spot where the arc changes to a flat line for a few millimeters, right under the balance point of the foot. This puts much more blade in contact with the ice, leading to quicker starts and stops, faster gliding, better crossovers, and significantly improved balance. The length of this spot, and how much of it is ahead of the center of the runner, is based on an algorithm. A numerically controlled machine built in Sweden is used to put the appropriate profile on each skate. Now, with better skating technique easier to master, the player can concentrate on improving puck handling, passing and shooting skills. Profiling is not just for elite players. Often, the players who struggle the most to get into the game get the most immediate benefit from proper profiling. Because they can skate better, they'll participate more and have more fun. Check your skates by placing a runner on a flat surface. If it rocks without resting on a flat spot near the center, your skates should be profiled. New skates often fail this test on at least one of the runners. At the First School Pro Shop, profiling includes a sharpening and cost just $15. And with competent sharpenings, the profiles should last at least half a season. <laughs>